Welcome back, Espinoid Pounds. We're talking Top Shot still with Chris. And here we get to go through his collection. And, and here he's checked us his um, showcase link where we get to look at what, uh, his favorite set, I guess, and favorite uh, moments from Top Shot. So, Chris, talk to me about this because you got you showed me your throwdown wall pop. Maybe before we get started on the, uh, the moments, talk to me a little bit of how the wall pack kind of came together. Yeah, sure. Um, we're just a group of collectors that sort of found each other during these uh, throwdowns yeah. challenges. And uh, I'd done the first couple, the Blake Griffin and then the Derek Jones Jr. And I think it was on a first mint yeah. tweet. You know, they'll put the, the tweet out with yeah. all the moments needed for the challenge. And it was in the Hamadou Diallo challenge that, I mean, there was just tons of people in there saying, oh, this is the worst reward ever. This is the worst set ever. They were still mad about, you know, maybe not yeah. making money yeah. on a pack from Top Shot for the first time ever. Yeah. And uh, several of us, just chimed in and said, Hey, we're, we're doing it. This is fun. You know? And, uh, yeah. we really like the set. They're great dunks and there was really good value on them too. And so we, uh, just sort of started a, our own little chat in that thread and somewhere along the way just said, Hey, we should form a club. Let's call it the Wolf Pack." And, and it kind of was off and running for that from there. And then each subsequent challenge, like on reward day, we'd all put out a tweet and, and, uh, kind of get together in the thread, just share our cereals and, uh, just kind of celebrate the, the set together and the fun of doing the challenges together. Um, somewhere along the way, uh, I, I think actually right after Diallo, Steve found us and uh, we've now grown to maybe 30, 35 members and uh, wow. do a chat on Twitter. People um, kind of seek us out now and said, hey, I have the whole throwdown set or hey, I bought a Diallo. Can we, uh, can I join the, the Wolf Pack? So. That's awesome. Thank you. This reminds me of how um, this is like before the whole nine, nine lives uh, lounge kind of like they kind of took the idea for what you guys did with wall pack, right? Cause it felt it had the same, um, it, I've seen it kind of come through. I was seeing it on Twitter with you guys with the throwdown set. Every time right. I see a, a tweet from like people talk, talking about the throwdown in a negative way, you guys are there just like showing off <laughs> your reward challenge and every one of you guys yeah. going after the the yalo we, and we everyone have thought, a lot of those wolf gifs that's kind of our thing is to see yeah. wolves <laughs> <laughs> yeah talk to me about the throwdown set what made it the um the focus and the uh i guess the cream of the crown of the wolf pack why the throwdown set well you know it kind of came out during the kind of the low point and in interest and enthusiasm for Top Shot. A lot of people were pretty upset. People were leaving the platform for a while or just taking a break. Um, after Throwdowns came out, people weren't interested in the challenge. That's why I think the Diallo had the lowest completion percentage of any challenge since somewhere early in series one. You know, so people just weren't interested. And so we've kind of rallied around it and saying, hey, this is, you know, we were true collectors sticking with the platform at a time when a lot of people weren't and take a lot of pride in that, I think. And so, um, you know, especially with the Diallo moment being the lowest mint count, um, we, you know, it's kind of, kind of has a special spot. Everyone's, you know, really proud of those. There's several of us have numerous mm -hmm. ones that we bought. Just to... that's awesome. Yeah, I think from the um, yeah, looking at the uh, percentage because um, I did one of the All Star Challenge for uh, for Damon Lillard, and that one I thought was quite low. But in seeing now here, where it's only eighteen hundred and only about like two eighty. Has completed yeah. so it's quite low so what makes it yeah. you know for you guys the benefit is it becomes even more rare of a moment <laughs> right i think there's only about 105 total completed sets right now yeah wow that's awesome well, okay, let's go through your uh, your favorite out of the throwdown sets so talk walk me through your favorite wolf and uh moments on each one uh, we'll start with blake griffin so what's um let's walk me through it <laughs> well, well i mean blake griffin that was like the first dunk he'd had in years didn't they say <laughs> he's kind of known for his dunking he forgot then, to dunk yeah, right <laughs> until he went to the, up at the nets and all of a sudden he's bringing back the old blake griffin and and with a real throw down there and uh, and it was the first challenge in the set so you know i i jumped on board with it and that's my original reward i saved all the rewards i got didn't you know trade or buy new ones from this set um so i'm gonna feel like at some point in in the future where um, a lot of moments will get passed around. I think I think there's gonna get a novelty on moments that have no sales history. <laughs> that's that, uh, that's yeah. how I feel. <laughs> I, I agree. I, that's what I love about challenges and quests is just, or even pulling a good moment from a pack is it's like, but especially with a challenge. I mean, that's one that was minted just for me. 
And yeah. so it always kind of a special place in my collection. We're like, this is, you know, Top Shop made this for me because I did the challenge. I didn't go buy it from someone who flipped it or whatever. It's, you know, so the, they're always that's, literally, <laughs> that's how I justify my HODL. <laughs> like, hey, yeah. like this has like no, no, like this, you know how there's no way for us to grade a moment? Like there's no like PSA 10, PSA 9. That's when we like, I have to justify a way to, to have a grade on something in terms of how valuable it is. I think right. my moment having no one has ever bought it except me that I minted it gives it like a PSA 10 or something. That's how yeah, I think exactly. of it. Yeah, I feel kind of the same way. It's just, it's, it makes it more special for sure. All right, let's go through the second moment right here. Oh, the Derek Jones Jr. Like, talk to me about this one. Yeah, second challenge reward. Um, and uh, what I like about this is just, I mean, look at that. He just, he just flies. It's like... He has you like mad bunny guys like, who get up quite like that. So. He's one of those guys that just like looks so easy when he jumps. Like you know, like yeah. players like him, Gel Green, like have that kind of you know hops when it just looks effortless. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs>